what is going on guys I got a uh, package obviously you can kind of see so it's a pretty it's a pretty decent package right I got a new tool and you're probably looking in there and being like dude you need to start getting rid of crap not buying more tools you need to be getting rid of crap ain't got the room for it I know I know I know but this is a three in one. So I can get rid of. I'm going to be getting rid of my Lincoln SP135T. It's been a freaking awesome MIG welder. And then my stick welder here. And that, that welder's been pretty good too. Uh, I just don't really use stick that much. But I'm also gaining an extra tool with this. It has. A TIG function in it. So what did I go with? Did I go with the Miller, Lincoln, or Harbor Freight? <laughs> well, as you can see, I went with Lincoln. Let's open this up, and I'll talk while we're opening. Hang on a sec. Alright, so what I think I need to do is move the truck forward, move this out, and I can get to my MIG welder and all that, and I'll just move that over here. Alright, so we got uh, five, uh, five little boxes. So we'll open the little ones first. Or maybe we should open the big one. Let's do the big one first. Got a turntable and everything. Wickle, 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 wickle. So I wound up getting the Lincoln 210 MP. It's a multi-process machine. Lincoln SP135T was an awesome machine, and that was kind of the reason why I went back with Lincoln. Because I've never had any issues with it. It always welded great. Um, I'm just wanting to. Well, a couple of reasons. One, I'm, I'm needing to uh, consolidate and get some space. And then the other thing is I'd like to learn how to TIG. I've never picked up a TIG machine. I've never done TIG before. So uh, it'll be a, a learning experience, that's for sure. All right. So here's what comes in the box. We have a 110 outlet. and that's what I'll be that's what that's what it'll be hooked up to most of the time uh, the, uh, ground clamp can see that it's all all copper got our stinger lead for the uh, or stick welder and uh, we'll see how that lasts this this seems really thin and it, it's made out of that it's made out of a plastic but I don't know we'll see how well it lasts 
But yeah, that's the uh, stinger lead for the stick. Alright. Here is the MIG welder. Or the MIG gun. And it's the Pro 175L. I don't know if you can see that or not. So, cool, cool. And here's your little plug in. Got gas. Got our gas hose. And it looks like uh, drive rollers and some extra tips. And I guess that's another part for the uh, drive roller deal. gauge yeah. since I'm putting this together I'm gonna to leave those on there just to help with the protection Again, it's the Power Mag 210MP storage compartment. It's got the little LED screen. So, with most welding machines, you will have this little chart here and some, some like quick, quick reference kind of stuff. comes with some wire. I'm assuming this is yeah it looks like flux core wire and solid wire. I'll get you started. Um, also what's cool is that it does come with the big uh, 10 pound spool. So, good, good. For now we're gonna go ahead and stick it on here. This is the uh, the Harbor Freight cart. I think it's, I don't know, 35 bucks or something. But it's been good. I don't really, I don't really cart this uh, welder around, so works good for me. I had the same problem with the other one. So I had to lift this up just a little bit. Alright, so this box. parts kit. Okay, cool. So it looks like your uh, <coughs> uh, parts kit for your TIG machine. For your TIG. That's cool. It's a bunch of hot glue. But, this is what plugs in. That you have to basically take the whole machine apart to uh, to add your foot pedal control. But, it does feel like it's metal. I was just thinking it's plastic, so that's good. We put that together whenever Tom comes in. It does come with instructions. But. I've been watching a lot of the reviews and stuff and it seems pretty self-explanatory. Have to shove it in there. I guess the TIG torch. Here's the actual pedal. It's got a pretty decent decent amount of uh, lead or cordage or whatever you want to call it. Good 
PTA 17 V. Cool. So I got a lot, a lot, a lot to learn. <laughs> so let me get some of this kind of picked up and organized a little bit, and I'll get back with you and talk to you about why I picked this over the other stuff. All right, guys. So there it is. Uh, it's in a nice little package. And a nice little package all stored up nice and neat over here. Um, I'm not able to test it out because the regulator they gave me would not fit on my bottle. It has that kind of fitting on it. Uses, I guess that. And the one they gave me is your normal like flared nut kind of thing. So I need to fi figure out an, uh, an adapter for that to go to that or something. I don't know. But that's why I'm not able to hook anything up. I tried to use the regulator and it just it just wouldn't work and I, I want to do everything from the factory. It makes it nicer and neater I guess. Yeah, the reason why I got this is so I want to try my hand at at TIG welding. But anyway, so this is a lot stronger machine. The other one was just uh, 110. This one is the uh, 220 volt. So I'll be able to do a little bit thicker stuff. I also well, save a lot of room. And so, like I said, I do have both of these up for sale. Um, this one is a 220 volt AC/DC arc arc welder. Uh, stick welder. Try to sell it for probably 200 bucks, and then this one, I'm trying to get 400 for it. Um, might be a little high, but I kind of price everything a little high because I know um, somebody's going to ask less, and it's a lot easier to uh, you know to go down a little than to go up from where you wanted to be. Like if I'm wanting 400 for this, I'd probably take 325, and somebody might come in and say, "I'll give you 350, 375 for it." Okay, I'm still ahead of the game, the way I, the way I see it. I did get the TIG pedal installed. Let me see there. Um, it was not near as hard as I thought it would be. I was kind of intimidated about doing it, you know, getting into a $2,000 machine. Well, I say $2,000. With this whole setup, it was $1,900. It was $1,900 with the, with the pedal, the TIG torch, everything you saw. Is it a good deal? Eh, I don't know. We'll see. Well, hopefully we'll get this thing up and running here in the next couple of days, and we'll throw down some, some beads, and I really want to try the TIG. I'm excited about that. Uh, I do run... A straight CO2 even with MIG yeah it it has the the setting here for straight CO2 on your MIG and you just follow this chart you can use the 7525 argon mix but um, yeah. I've always used that and it's done good enough for me and the stuff that I do one thing I did while I was in here is where the gas hooks up it's where the gas hooks up on the inside there's a a hose and it's just a barb fitting and I put a hose clamp on there because I saw uh, on a couple of forms where that hose on the inside blew off and I figured since I'm already in there might as well uh, might as well do that while I'm in there uh, the other thing I did was I put I put some identifying numbers in there so if this ever gets stolen um, you'd have to take this thing completely apart and look under and back and behind some stuff to find the number that I put and I put them in several different spots again if it ever gets stolen I look at it in a um, I see it in a pawn shop or whatever we can have them take it apart and look um, I'll probably do something to customize it. I, I don't know what it is. 
so that way if there is a picture and it'll probably be on the front maybe on the top or something like that but that way if there is if it ever gets stolen and they take a picture of it and put it online I'll be able to see oh I instead of this being white I had red on there um, so that might be something or these screws that's in here I painted those red you may be able to pick those up from um, from a picture that's online just a little tip for you one thing that we had to do in order to put this in for the MIG welder or for the MIG gun you have to loosen this up that will allow you to shove it in and then tighten it down um, I have a 30 thousandths um, solid core wire and I just had to trade out this is the one that came on it and as you can see it's Thirty-five to forty-five thousandths. Um, that's what came on it. It came with the other shoe. Two, I can't remember. I think it's twenty-five thousandths to thirty-five thousandths or something like that. Anyway, so you know, it accepts the bigger uh, 10, 12 pounds. This is a twelve-pound one, um, as well as you take this adapter off, and it will accept the one-pound spools. So as I told you, I, I use. 100% CO2, um, carbon dioxide, whatever. And most people use the 7525 mix of argon and CO2. Um, so I had to get this adapter. Come on, focus. There you go. It's this adapter here. If you can see that. And it was like 20 bucks. Um, but it allows me to go from the argon CO2 to straight CO2. Uh, but that's what I needed to get this hooked up. So, so sorry this was kind of, I know it was a kind of a long drawn out video and nothing really exciting. But I am feeling a little under the weather. So I figured we'll do this kind of unboxing and show everything that we got. And then the next video we'll have all the fun or more fun stuff of actually welding and um, it might be kind of a comedy thing whenever I try to learn how to uh, TIG weld for the first time ever. Alright guys, again I really appreciate all the comments and all you subscribers and everything. Hey, y'all comment right and we'll, we'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. See ya.